the story time of the time I met Jojo Siwa and if you don't know who Jojo Siwa is she's basically like this dancer singer actor for like Nickelodeon she even has like her own brand like her merch products basically everything you could think of so yeah now after like that ranting and stuff like I'm just get straight on to the video so this was on November 26, 2017, I think. Yeah. So it was around that time. So I recently seen this ad on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram for like a meet and greet for Jojo Siwa because like, I used to be a fan of her. Well, I still am. But like, I wanted to meet her so much like Every time I would look for, like, a meet and greet for, like, my favorite celebrity, YouTuber, anything else, like, they would never have one. Because, like, I would either miss it or they just didn't have one. So, basically, I seen it. And uh, I was like, oh, I should go to this. It's tomorrow and it's close because it was in Manhattan, basically, New York. And I lived there. So, I just called my father. And I was like, I found this, um link for the jojo siwa meet and greet um books well it's like a book signing kind of yeah jojo siwa book signing and i want to go because it said it's free plot twist coming up so he was like yeah what time because i have to work later on the day so i was like it starts at 10 it said and it ends at like two he was like all right because he lives like he works really close to there so we just went and then my friend Sienna texted me and then she said, Ryan, do you have any plans? Or I think I asked her, could she, could she come? I don't really remember. Yeah, so then I asked her, I think, do you want to come with me? And she was like, yeah, what time? And I was like, at 10. She was all right. So at the time, it's the next morning. So I get up around 7. Yes, yeah, 7. At 7 o'clock to get ready. So when I wake up, I have to make sure I wake up my friend Sienna because she takes a long time in the shower. So I just told her, Sienna, you got to get up because I know you take like an hour long shower and all this. She was like, okay, I'm going to just tell my grandmother. All right. I was like, all right. So fast forward to when we, actually, when we actually left to go to the book signing. So when we left to the book signing, we had to take the bus to the train and it was cold so like I did not want to be on the bus or the train but had to so we got on the bus and train then we got to the meet and greet which was held in Barnes and Noble if you don't know what it is I'll try to insert a picture right here it's like a bookstore basically yeah basically a bookstore so yeah we went there and then when we got there I was like mm, this, it might be a little line I was wrong so this line was like two blocks long. So like the store is here and then we're coming in front of the store and like where the front of my hand is at, where the, the front of the store is at. So we're walking. I was like, oh, the line looks little. So we keep walking and get to the end of the line. So now all I see is like people, like uh, loads and loads of people. I'm like, all right, so tomorrow. Thank you for messing. So yeah, I'm back. So yeah, the store is here and there's like a loads of people and all of that stuff I said. So, we finally get to our spot in the line. And I'm like, this is going to take forever and ever and ever and ever. I was right. Because it did. It took us 10, probably 1 o'clock we were standing outside. I did not want to wait that long. 2, it was freezing cold. 3, I was hungry. 4, it was nowhere to sit. Everybody was just sitting on the concrete. Well, it was wet because it was raining. I'm like, y'all are crazy because, like, I'm not going to stand on the ground. So, like, we seen, like, this hotel slash restaurant there called Wolfgang's. So, me and my friend Sienna go inside to sit down. 
because we asked the people in there, can we sit down because they're having this me and green and they make it stand here for like hours and hours. And it was like, oh, yeah, sure. So we all decided to sit. So I have my phone. My phone is on like 30%, so I was mad. And I'm just sitting here on my phone watching YouTube videos. And then all of a sudden, I noticed that I just fall asleep. And then I wake up. And I'm like, where am I? And I was so confused. It was like, who falls asleep? And like the hallway type part of a restaurant, hotel kind of thing. Yeah, so I was like, how, how did I end up here? Because I was confused. So yeah. After that, we just left out. We met, went back on the line. And we waited more and more. So then all of a sudden, we hear like this. Everybody's screaming and saying, ah, Jojo. So I'm like, is she outside? And then I was ready for her to walk past with like the vlog camera and stuff because I wanted to say like something in the camera like, hi, I love you, Jojo Siwa, all that stuff. So it turns out it wasn't her. It was, was her father and her brother and her mother. They was walking past with the camera and waiting for all of us to say what we want and have like those signs and stuff. I had like a custom made bow so like I showed it in the camera. And I was supposed to give to her but you see I was too scared to give her the bow. So like I didn't. So fast forward to when we actually got inside the place because while waiting after that it was just basically all standing. Nothing really happened. So when we get inside Everything is finally moving. And when we get to this counter, I'm like, why are we going to this counter? We're not buying anything. So we get to the counter, and, my, and she said, you have to buy the book to get the wristband to meet her. I'm like, what? It didn't even say that online. She was like, oh, she should have mentioned that. So I'm like, what? So then all, out of all of us, me, my, my friend, and my father, we only had $10. So then my father gives the $10 to my friend. So I'm like what that doesn't make sense how how my father give money to my friends that, that doesn't make sense so i'm like so i'm sitting there about to cry so then the lady was like come here to the corner come i'm like what so then she took the wristband and put it on me i was like and i was happy because like she just gave me a free wristband even though it wasn't that much but like that was still worth it so we go back out we go outside again, and they're going to wait another hour because it's a long line. So it's like doo, 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 going into the the bookstore again. And then we go down this, come upstairs, go around. Like, it looks like a mall inside, kind of. So we go upstairs, we go around this, I don't know what it's called, when you have like a glass thing surrounding the middle of the mall, kind of. It's like It looks like that. So you go around that. You go in between these bookshelves and stuff, because, like, the line is inside the bookshelf, so there's no other space to put the line. And then when you finally get to, like, the end of, like, where the bookshelves is at, JoJo C was right there. Yeah, JoJo C was right there. And it was, like, this green wallpaper, and it was just her with, like, this sparkly red sequin jacket, and I think it was green pants. It was like red, green, and white. I know that's the color she had on. So then, fast forward to when it's my time to meet her. I have my phone. Well, I don't have that phone no more. It was a 6S, but now I have the A+. So, yeah, I had that. And then this lady was right here. And then she was like, make sure your camera's on so we can do it quick and fast. So I'm like, okay. And then the next lady, she comes up. And she said to pass the phone so she passes it to JoJo. So I'm like, okay. So then, I walk up to JoJo. And I'm sitting, I'm freezing. I'm like... Like, I was scared, like, really, really scared. I really did not know what to do. Because, like, all you got was, like, five seconds with her. You just walk up, take the picture, leave. I'm like, that's it? I was like, okay, it was worth me meeting her because at least I got to meet her. And instead of just never meeting her in my life. So, yeah, then we just leave out. We go downstairs because they, they have this Starbucks and McDonald's and stuff. So I get a strawberry acai. That's basically the only thing I would get from there. Then I go to McDonald's and get a buttermilk crispy chicken sandwich. Yeah. That's what I got. And we just ate. And then after that, we went home. And 
this is the end of my story. So, I hope you guys like it. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Um, comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more great story times, challenges, Q&As, whatever you want me to do in the future. So, peace out. Bye.